But we are not allowed to execute today. We don't execute any violator of any law of the Torah that the Torah say that he deserved or she deserved to get a death penalty. No executions today. So the Gemara say, once the, 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 better, the temple was destroyed and there's no more Sanhedrin and there is no more trials and there's no more execution, who does the execution? Only Hashem. When he decides. Someone that deserves to be stoned falls from a building. We come and he fall. Someone supposed to be burned can get, be killed by lightning or by a fire, get caught in a fire and die. Someone supposed to be choked, can drown or can choke from gas or smoke. Someone that's supposed to be killed by a sword can be killed by a sword or can be killed by a gunshot today or pieces of an explosion or, or glass went into his body and made holes, stabbed. There's all kinds of swords that people, it doesn't have to be literally sword, it can be a piece from a bomb flew, piece of sharp plastic right into his neck and killed him. The big anyways, a gunshot from far away. But only Hashem does executions. If you see Mechalel Shabbat, 90 years old, didn't get an execution, you should feel extra bad for him. If his friend died at 16, stoning, fell from a building, or he got hit by a car, then this person that is continued to be Mechalel Shabbat 30 more years, they have to feel more sorry for him. He can say, ah, I see, he lived to 90 even though he wasn't Shomer Shabbos. <laughs> The last one you want to be jealous with is this guy, that he lived long life. Now he has to pay for that long life, 30 more years of sins. First thing he will scream in his trial, why did you make me live such long life? Keeping such a wicked person alive for so long, it's actually a punishment for him. What does he do, his old man? Playing golf? Smoking cigar, watching TV, cursing his family members all day. Does he pray? Does he learn Torah? No. Does he put filin? No. Does he eat kosher? No. Does he make brachot? No. Mamash makigoy. So what does he live for? His life here is already a punishment. He's not benefiting anyone. He's hurting people. He's a liability to his family members. And on top of everything, is accumulating more sins that he will be judged for. So the longer he lives, the worse it is for him. It's a punishment, it's not a, it's not a gift like some people think. Well, my father, Baruch Hashem, lived long life. If he was a righteous man, it's fantastic that he lived long life. If he was a wicked liberal, Bernie Sanders, Imach Shimon, Hashem keeps him alive. Every day that he lives, he gains millions or maybe billions of new sins. There's a reason why I should keep him alive. That's the worst punishment for someone like that to live. It's a traitor. Betrayed his nation. Chilul Hashem he does. Oh, Hashem, you know what, what Gehenom is waiting for him? So every day that he's alive, his punishment multiply and triple and... Some people say, wow, when are we going to get rid of this trader? Sometimes someone hit you bad in life, stole from you, caused you a big damage, did horrible things to you, maybe destroyed your marriage, I don't know. People do bad things to each other. And it kills you to see that they celebrate for 20, 30 years like nothing happened. She didn't touch them. They become wealthier. They're healthy, they have children, they moved into a bigger home, they opened another store. It bothers you very much. You see them walking around with all their wealth, an expensive car, an expensive watch. Every time you see them, it burns you out. That's heresy. We are all heretics. If you really had a Munai in Hashem, you should have been happy that he's alive. The longer he lives, the better it is. Someone like this only dig his hell deeper by the minute. Better that he should stay long. Sometimes Hashem decides to take his olam from him for what he did to you. 
But let's say he was 60 years old when he committed this crime against you. But he had a lot of merit until that time. Maybe he was keeping Shabbat, maybe he was giving charity, maybe he did a lot of good things. Maybe it's only culture. Wicked people sometimes do great things. In order for Hashem to wipe out his next wall, he has to pay him now for all the good deeds that he kept in his life that so far he wasn't paid for. The plan was to pay him in the next world. But once Hashem decided on Rosh Hashanah after what he did to you to take away his Olam Abba, now the entire plan is changing. I was reserving your reward for the eternal world. Now I decided to take away your eternal world. So I have to pay you for six years of mitzvot from your bar mitzvah until now. Mansions, business, fame, children, marries children to good shiduchim. You in the meantime, eat your heart. Why? Because you're an heretic. You have no emunah in Hashem. You think you know better than Hashem who deserve to get what? If you really eliminated your ego and you think that you're somebody important and you understand what's going on in the world and you would understand you don't understand anything, but the rules are solid. Righteous get good, we can get bad. End of story. Doesn't matter what I see right now. Doesn't matter what I see until the day I die. Doesn't matter. Righteous will get good and wicked will get bad. And it's never going to be changed. It's one of the 13 principles of the Torah. Because you don't have patience, because you don't have emunah, it burns your heart to see your enemy continue to celebrate. 